There are laws and regulations that require the investigation and reporting of certain types of accidents. Insurance requirements also lead to many accident investigations, as do potential claims at common law. However, from an occupational health and safety point of view, the main aim of accident investigations is not to fulfill these legal and insurance obligations, but rather to prevent recurrences of the same or similar accidents. Accident investigations, therefore, should be regarded as an important part of accident prevention. Any serious accident, whether causing injury or not, every dangerous occurrence, and many near-miss incidents should be investigated. An accident can be broadly defined as an unplanned and unwelcome event which interrupts normal activity. There are three basic types of accidents. First, minor accidents, such as small cuts or the dropping of objects. Second, more serious accidents that cause injury and or damage, such as someone falling from a ladder or a forklift dropping a load. And third, accidents that occur over an extended time frame, such as an illness resulting from an exposure to a hazardous substance. These types of accidents are best addressed by ongoing accident prevention programs that include risk assessments and the implementation of appropriate safe work procedures. It is the second group, the more serious accidents, that is clearly the main group that should be investigated. However, it should be remembered that very often there is only a fine line between a minor accident and a major one. All accidents have one thing in common. They all have reasons why they occur. These reasons are commonly referred to as contributory factors. Contributory factors that lead to all accidents fall into one or more of the following broad categories. Environmental, design, systems and procedures, and human behavior. Environmental factors include such things as light, rain, wind, fog, fumes, heat, cold, and noise. Design factors include...